<clears throat> hey everybody, we're at CXPL Central Event 2 at Flag Raiders Paintball. We've got go-karts, we've got mini putt, we've got water slides, and we've got paintball. It's going to be great. We're gonna start you guys off some CX4. The three top teams this year are really, really close. Let's check it out. I am the coast, I am the cow, I am the breeze. I can hear you calling now. Before you even speak And I will watch out for you In your hour and hours of need I have seen the power in you Which you have yet to be I am the night I am the falling of the road I'll hold your position, I'll be your rail, I'll be your role. I'll watch as you're leaving, and I'll be waiting wherever you go. I have seen the greatest things you have yet to show. And you could cover your eyes and tear in. To say, and you would cover your eyes and be falling forever and free. And you would cover your eyes and I'm here with Nelson. Nelson, what's the race like in RXL this year? Uh, actually, the race is actually pretty good. Uh, it's a little tight. Um, but my guys in, in hate, uh, they're going undefeated. I believe the RXL uh, Rockstar guys are also going undefeated this year. So it's going to be pretty tight uh, and a tight race when it comes down to it. And I think it's going to come down to um, Rockstar and uh, hate to take the win. Um, Defiant, also a really good contender. So that some good, really good teams out there. Uh, a couple teams that are struggling, but uh, the, they'll probably turn it around towards the end of the uh, season. So definitely uh, hate and Rockstar towards the end. And you could cover your eyes and tear him to save. And you could cover your eyes and be falling forever and free. And you could cover your eyes and I'll be all that you say. For I am the ghost. I am the cat.
guys think about the MX all this year? Oh yeah, we're playing it. <laughs> and uh, there's other teams shooting us, and we're shooting back a lot of the time. Getting really good at it too. Mostly who's getting shot though? Uh, mostly us, but we're figuring that out. We're gonna figure out how to put like A and B together into a new alphabet called WIN. Up next in CXBL, Game 1, Cambridge Raiders versus Woodstock Semperfy. This is the home field for Cambridge, so uh, a lot of people on the sidelines helping them out. Let's see if that pays off today. All right, here we are at Flag Raiders Event 2, right here in the Central Conference. First matchup between the Cambridge Raiders and Woodstock Semplar F5. I'm with Travis Croft. How's it feel with taking that win, buddy? Big win. It was perfect. We had a lot of practice. Got it down. It was weird playing Woodstock. A lot of these guys are the old Woodstock franchise from MXL. So hearing Woodstock was different, but it felt nice to shoot them a lot, too. So. Well, I'm going to tell you, these guys definitely showed that they can out there. But you guys have been a top contending team the whole time. It was a big spread, but nothing to take away from them at that point. Certainly not. No, they've been working hard. They've been practicing just as much. Just quite, not quite as much experience, but it'll come. Our guys stepping up showing they deserve to be in the CXBL right now. Uh, how do you think Flag Raiders paintball? What do you got to say about it, man? It's our home. We couldn't ask for a better home. We're here all the time. They take care of us. The grass is always green. It's always cut. It's always gritted perfect. You'll just enjoy it if you come out here. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, on a side note, congratulations, buddy. A new married man. <laughs> all right, we're about to watch game two. Windsor Lockdown playing Scarborough Hustle. Scarborough Hustle brought with them today Ollie Lang. So they're going to have a great player. They're going to have some good coaching. But they're playing Lockdown, who plans to go undefeated. So this is going to be a really tight game. I'm excited to watch it. Let's go check it out. All right, here we are at the end of the second matchup. Windsor Lockdown taking out Scarborough Hustle. How's it feel, Chad? It uh, feels good. We're actually just real determined, and uh, you know we're not done yet. So you guys got another matchup here today, I believe, right? Yep, against Cambridge Raiders, and you know we watched them the game before uh, we, they played us, and you know we know what they do, but we're not really trying to play their game. They're going to play our game. I got a question for you. That matchup right now, you had Oliver Lang, Scarborough, a lot of experience on that. At the end of the first half, it was pretty much a tie game. Then the second half. There was a point that actually took 10 minutes to actually finish that point. What was going through the pit's mind at that point? Uh, well, the first half kind of went a little rough on us because uh, we were kind of dumb and we kept getting a lot of penalties. Um, we actually, that's the biggest thing we do stress, and we just kept getting them and getting them and getting them. And I'm, I'm just walking by the box looking at my guys in the box, and I'm like, what are you doing? Um, but at the same time, you know, we pulled it together, and then it came down to it actually. Um, Oliver's actually in the snake and tried to run down the corner. I stopped him from the Dorito side, and then all of a sudden, like, it was just it became a one-on-one, -on -one, and I just really just kind of sat on it. Uh, he didn't have a lot of paint, I didn't have a lot of paint, but I had my coat or my pit right there for me. Um, they just told me to stay calm. I tried to get a little wild on him there and get a little fancy, but they just told me to stay calm and, you know, take care of it from there. So then they just pretty much, if it wasn't for them just telling me to stay calm, I probably would have played it. Won or lost, I don't know. Um, I have confidence in myself I would have won, but at the same time, it was just played safe. So. Well, I got to tell you, watching you guys go, the experience definitely prevailed at that event. And that matchup specifically, watching all the actually coaching the kids, he's got a lot of youth on that team, but to see you guys go head to head, point to point in the first half, and obviously you guys opening up in the gap in the second, well, congratulations to you guys. Thank you. Oliver's got a lot of experience, you know, he knows what he's doing. Um, he's a champion for a reason, but, you know, we're there just today, like today just to take him down, so it worked out for us. Well, right now you're sitting with, uh, I believe, 3-0, and correct? Uh, no, we're actually 2-0. We played uh, one match uh, earlier in the event one, and then one now, and then uh, right now we're going to make it 3-0, and so we'll go ahead and do that for you guys. Gotcha. Good luck to you this afternoon. We're about to watch game three, Kitchener Recon playing Toronto Rage. At event one, Kitchener was losing the first half, but then completely turned it around during the second half. Let's see if today they can keep the score close against Toronto. Alright, here we are at the end of the third matchup between Toronto Rage and Kitchener Recon. Here I am with Stefan Herda. You weren't here at the first event. This is your first event of the year, buddy. Yeah. How's it feel? It feels good to be back. Yes, Jared and I were away in New Zealand and uh, played some paintball overseas, so now we're back full force with our uh, real team here. We got a really sick lineup this year. We got the Americans, Tom Guest, Tyler Fair, and all the old boys. So 
I think it's our strongest team yet, as you can see by the score today. So well, I got to tell you, that game against Kitchener, a lot of people on the spectators' line was looking forward to watching this game, yep. and it was a big spread. I didn't expect it to be that open, but you guys are definitely at the top of your game. What was right. your outcome? How did you feel about after the matchup? Um, we were actually kind of surprised uh, at the spread. I mean, they've given us some good games before, but really Kitchener Recon is like our sister team. We've been practicing with them all last year as well, so we kind of have a feel for how they play, but we just kind of accept, uh, expected them to be a little bit more aggressive on the Dorito side. They, they had us on the snake most of the time, but... Uh, we just basically played really tight on the Dorito side, made our bunkers. We lost, there was a lot of even trades on both sides, but we just came up on top. We just pulled out a lot of clutch wins, so that's basically what it came down to. I gotta tell you, after the last matchup, you guys were watching the game at the first event. The, yeah. There was a grinding game between Windsor Lockdown and yourselves. Yeah. Seeing your team come out of this one, it looks like you guys really wanted this matchup. Oh, well, yeah, I wasn't there, unfortunately, but of course it sucked being halfway around the world, being powerless to watch your team lose, and I, I don't think that's gonna happen again. We're gonna make sure of it, so. All right, guys, next match, we got Cambridge Raiders versus Windsor Lockdown. Last game of the day, Scarborough Hustle and Toronto Rage. Toronto really needs this win for a chance to go to Nax in sunny, sunny Florida. Here we are at the final match. It's all over, said and done right now. Toronto Rage taking out Scarborough Hustle. I'm here with Buddy Bauer. How's it feel, buddy? Feels good. They uh, they played really good earlier against Windsor. And, um, you know, we didn't take them lightly. We didn't just think we had it. So we came out. We played hard. We played consistent. Had a major. Worked through it. And, and won. So I got to tell you guys, after all the years watching Toronto go, you guys look at your prime this year. Your team looks solid. The games were a little tougher right now. You're going back and forth, grinding out some points. But even with the experience of all relying on there, you guys played phenomenal. Yeah, they're they're playing great. And, um, you know, I think a couple of us were brought in just to calm Rage down in the pits and just keep, like, a level head. And it's it's everything. Everyone's clicking. Everyone's playing great. Um, glad to be a part of the team this year. So, you know, we'll keep we'll keep working and, and hopefully win this year. Well, with that victory right now, I believe it puts you right now standing in second place in the Central Division, right behind Windsor Lockdown. So, as you know, the top three teams will be battling the last three. Uh, sorry, the top three will be battling the fourth, fifth, and sixth at Event Three. Where do you see you fitting on that? What's going to happen there? I think uh, we're going to finish strong. It'd be tough to have anyone beat Windsor throughout the rest of the season. They got some great players, but uh, our plus-minus we definitely have going for us. I said since since Event One, with all the com uh, you know the competition this year. 
plus minus is going to be a factor. We can't slow down. We need to take our timeouts, give us two minutes extra playing time each game, and get those extra few points because it's going to come down to points. So, uh, you know, that's what we're going to do and, you know, see everyone at finals. That wraps things up at Central Event 2 at Fly Greatest Paintball. For now, stay tuned to IceBall.com for new footage and results.